Film focus. <clears throat> Snapzilla Gorilla, aka the definition, coming at y'all with another short video. Now, this has to do with the ATF. Okay, they think they slick, and they're about to try to make a big move by tomorrow. Okay, so this is about this is regarding the form you have to fill out for the background check for the next for the next check actually for the National Instant uh, Check System. When you go purchase a firearm, you fill out your information. Your driver's license, your, your driver's license number, your address, your all the other shit about you. And the FFL dealer sends it to the FBI. Okay, so the F the FBI runs a background check, and once it's approved, they have 24 hours to destroy any record of you having done that. Okay? Any record of you having gone through a background check is supposed to be destroyed. So what then is supposed to happen is the FFL dealer is supposed to keep a record of it in their store, okay, or in their shop, okay? And then every now and then the ATF can come by and audit the FFL dealer and make sure that they're keeping records, records properly. Now, what they're supposed to do is just look at the forms that you filled out, the F, the 4473s. They're just supposed to look at it, okay? They're not supposed to take it. They're not supposed to take photocopies. They're not supposed to take pictures of the forms. They're not supposed to do any of that. But guess what? They're doing it, okay? They're doing that. So now they're taking your information. Okay, this person person purchased a firearm on a certain day, okay? And they're taking it back. Now they have, guess what? A registry of you having purchased the firearm because you went to the background check, okay? Now, that's illegal. They're not supposed to do that, but they're doing it, okay? Illegal activity. A group of more than, uh, a group of t uh, two or more people planning to planning an illegal act that's a conspiracy okay yes it's a conspiracy so you know obviously conspiracies exist anyway moving right along what happens what's happening now is that they're trying to change how the form is filled out or they're trying to add information to it that's basically what they're doing. So it's going to be all your information on this form, but there's going to be another section for you to fill out the information of the firearm you're purchasing. Okay? So now they not only know that you're about to purchase this firearm or that you have purchased this firearm, they're going to know what it is, the caliber, the make, the model. You know, and they're going to know you have it. So every time you do that, you this is what you have to do. So now they're going to have a record of what you have not just that you bought something they'll know what it is and that's going to start tomorrow so what we need to do we need to we need to make sure we try to put a stop to this we need to make them aware that we're aware that we're aware of this illegal activity that they're doing and that they're trying to add this information to the form so that they can when they come to the everville dealers and steal our information the information of the firearm will be there as well you understand what i'm saying so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some links in the description. I'm going to put a link to the uh, the form itself, so you can see what the form looks like, the 4473. I'm going to fill, I'm going to put in a link to the testimonials from the FFL dealers that talk about how these ATF agents are doing this illegal activity. Okay, then I'm going to put a link to uh, the Guns Over Owner of America, there where you can take action. Okay, you you put your name in there, and then they'll and then you, they'll send it off for you. OK, uh, you, you fill out the field with your information on there, name, just your name and phone number and, and the email address. And then you go to the next field. It'll have a pre-written um, admonishment. OK. That they're going to send to uh, the government for you or you can go ahead and add information. You can take information out. You can edit it, do whatever you want to it, then send it off. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to put that in the description so that we can take action. So we can let these people know we ain't down for that bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? So, and this is why I don't vote. This is why I don't vote. Because the fact that I have to be put in this position in the first place is because people have have seen it fit to choose a ruler to, to rule over me and to create arbitrary rules and to try to control me. This is the problem. This is why I don't like voting. You know, people say, oh, if you don't vote, you ain't got shit to say. No, motherfucker. If you vote, you ain't got shit to say because guess what? You the reason we're in this position in the first place. You're giving the, these people the power 
to rule over me. I don't want them to rule over me. If you want them to rule over you, then you tell them to rule over you. Don't I don't want that. But because of the way this democratic system works, the way this republic works, actually, this representative republic, this representative democracy, whatever you want to call it, the constitutional republic, is because you guys place people to rule over us. And once they get into the, that, now, they'll tell you sweet nothings in your ear. They'll sell you a dream while they're campaigning. But, by, but when they get in that office, oh, they do what the hell they want to do. They'll hear a public comment. They'll hear what you got to say. But at the end of the day, certain important pieces of legislation are up for them to decide. It's up for them. It's up to them to decide what certain pieces of legislation gets passed. So that was because you voted. You voted for these people. If the vote counts, as a matter of fact, you voted for these people to rule over you and to rule over me. And then you're voting on laws that they present to you. So you're not even you're not even presenting your own laws. You're not even presenting your own laws that we could possibly vote on as regular people. You're letting them do it. So when you vote on something, you're only voting on what they present. You understand what I'm saying? Just like with the Democratic National Convention, how they how their system works, they got the delegates. I'm talking about for the primaries, okay? For the primaries to choose the candidate that's going to go up against Trump. Trump. Okay? You have the delegates and you have the super delegates. Who are the super delegates? Not you and me, not the proletariats. No, it's the elites. They ultimately decide who gets to go up against Trump. So even who they present to you to go up against Trump is who they decide. You know what I'm saying? The, the other person that you get to choose from other than Trump is who they decide for you to, to choose uh, uh, once he goes up against Trump. You know what I'm saying? The Democratic National Convention. And they change rules, as you can see, with Bloomberg. They change the rules so that he can get into the debate, okay? Uh, he doesn't have to have a certain amount of votes. He doesn't have to have so many uh, donors across a broad spectrum. He can spend his own money, get in debate anyway. Change the rule for that. Did we choose, Did we do that? No. <laughs> they chose to do that. But guess what? We voted for the motherfuckers to be in the position in the first place. And now, that's what they're doing. So anyway, much love to y'all. I'll at y'all later. Make sure you check out these links and, and go through the process. Please, 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 if you care anything about your rights, if you care anything about protecting your right to keep and bear arms, which protects every other right that you have, it's in place for that reason. Then go through this process. Go through the GOA. Fill out this form. And let's send it to the ATF. Let them know what we're doing. Let them know we know what they're doing. Okay? Anyway, I'll at y'all later. Peace.